Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Talks Machina, episode 55, Duplicity. Nine minutes in to the episode, we have Talizin and Laura Bailey, our clerics. I didn't watch much of it. I saw like a second or two. And then I'm like, where the hell is the card? It's usually around the five or six minute mark. It was at the nine minute mark. Also, we're still doing that whatever the heck the Grog thing is. I'm trying not to pay much attention to it. It was some one shot kind of thing with Grog. But I feel like that's got to still be a spoiler. So the last five minutes is that. The first nine minutes is intro. We're down to about 42 minutes of actual content. Haven't had After Dark or After Hours in God knows how long, ever since this Grog thing started. Is it even a one shot if it lasts this long? I mean, it feels like it's been two months, but I don't mind. It's just making Talks Machina very short. They're usually well over an hour, and now they're like 40, 45 minutes. So either way, we just saw the episode in the live stream last night. I'm wearing my Molly shirt because Caduceus died he died was resurrected or revivified with the diamond and all is well we were able to save him but had we not had that diamond that we got back from the ogre talizin would have lost his second character which is 100 percent why i figured he would be on this episode unless there was like some reason he couldn't i figured talizin would be on here and laura bailey jester i guess is just because we haven't seen her in a bit she hasn't been on in a couple weeks, I feel like, maybe. Either way, let's jump in. We fought the Incubus and the Succubus and this giant flying Minotaur and Bo. I was going to wear my Bo shirt, but I got to send it back. The shoulder? I don't know. It looks bizarre. I've showed you guys before. It just doesn't feel right, nor does it look right. So I put on my Molly shirt in honor of the fact that Caduceus died, and I already wore my Caduceus shirt like 10 times last week. You guys want to see more of what I do, full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel. In the description below is a link for Patreon. You'll see every episode of Campaign 2 Patreon Hour. This week, there is only a Patreon Hour exclusive for episode 56. We started episode 56 in the live stream because we hit 50 likes or more. And there is only 48 minutes left, something like that. Not even enough for the full hour for the Patreon exclusive. But Patreon's going to get the whole thing to the break. And then we're also having one of, if not the shortest, live streams this coming week. Also, if you're seeing this Saturday night, which this will be out Saturday night, tomorrow, Sunday, which is March 19th, we will be doing the Kill Box in full. All in one day. We'll probably take a five-minute break in between, but it's going to be about four to five hours long, give or take. That is tomorrow, live stream for the dude, JB, my moderator, requested we do it, said it was worth watching. So we're going to do it. You guys want to see that? Check it out. Patreon link below. Hundreds of shows, hundreds of movies, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, all of Vox Machina Season 1 and 2. Check it all out. If not, Episode 55, Talks Machina. Ah, it's so loud in my ears. I don't know. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that looks delicious. We're back. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> we have some. Let's, let's kill this. I tried to get a nap today. Yeah. It didn't go. happen. Oh, I know. I, I tried to get a nap. Time, and wait. then I came and woke you up because yeah. I started feeding him French like fries. This. Things it's get weird like when we're tired. We have some crit roll stats we're tired. <clears throat> for episode 55. Crit courtesy roll stats. Of our friends at crit roll stats. I'm ready. Oh, wow. My hand almost I just make made sure that it's appear, right? Bad. I feel like it's still a little too This bad. episode sets the campaign two record for most player D20 rolls at really? 211. Oh, Whoa. oh okay, That's overall. 211. two battles. Wait till you see GIF of the week, though. Technically, y'all had three. Technically, wait, we had wait three. Till you see GIF of the week. Was three? What does yeah. that mean? Yeah. Uh, the current that show record is 230. Good things, I'm assuming. In one fourteen. I'm gonna open this shade because so I think of, of campaign one because that was the, the big the light Vecna. the big, the big, the big, the big right. fight. The it mighty nine dealt seven hundred and fifty two damage, two hundred and eighty of which was against. You can hear gunshots in the background. There's a shooting oh, range wonder. by my house. Yikes! Or not a shooting range. That uh, is so range. much damage against deer. each other. Nowhere near as much as you've caused each other in real life, though. I don't do it. True. 
Stay Psychic. Healing. Psychic damage. <laughs> so true. So it's true. so true. So true. Jester and Caduceus both dealt 44 damage, none of which was friendly fire. Nice. So you guys <laughs> nice. stayed clean. Yeah. We were clean. Um, no friendly fire. These are clear. Yeah. Yeah. By the These end of the episode, the Mighty Nine had clear. eight spell slots left among them of 45 total. That blows my mind. That's so freaking many spell slots that aren't like, I mean, not like 45 all of them, and then y'all got all the way down to freaking eight. Eight! I I don't know where those. <laughs> Danny? Who had them. And Clay. I had a bunch mm. of level ones. Oh, I was okay, gonna okay, say, okay. Caleb probably was hanging on to a few. By the end of the episode, had I had some... zero spell slots left. Yikes. 40. Travis only has two, eight. right? Yeah. yeah. I had some level ones and level four. My goodness. What was your level four? Do you remember? Um, I just had it. No, I mean I had a spell slot oh, in yeah, case slot. I had to. It was the in case I was the one standing at the end. Ah, yeah. So Yikes. we did. So you Caduceus probably no. had a half. Spoiler of alert. The slots left. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this tonight. We might talk about that a little bit. Well, it's almost 7:15, so we might not. We should probably get to like talking about it. I yeah. am. What are you? What but this is honestly, you? I don't Same. care because either way, I'm just I as enjoy tired them. as you are. Except I don't have a but baby and stuff like that. You know, like they're yeah. really slow rolling. Yeah. This talk waking me up at four in the morning and stuff like that. He he slept really great last night. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Have you been doing what I told you? We just let him suck on an ambient for about 10, 10 or 15 or seconds. Yeah, it's been working really great. <laughs> Talison. Mm. CD88 has a question we for didn't you. Do, we don't do that. We don't do <laughs> don't that. I don't think you have to tell them. <laughs> just being clear. Steve said. <laughs> Talison, Marisha made sure uh, to write I love stay that alive she in her notes for Bo. I do you think it's time to reevaluate the types of notes you're keeping for this campaign? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do have my first note for the for the for the since that last episode of my new campaign. And what is it? No. Okay. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, that's. Uh, oh, that was a good one. Very and good. <laughs> Ow. I know. <laughs> that hurts. Oh, it hurts. Geez. Do you keep pretty detailed notes? No. I d I'm not I'm not as clay. I had right. notes that I would te keep for other characters, but for clay, I only keep things that I think he would pay attention to because I like having him be a little befuddled, and I peek at yours, which are, while not the clearest, not useful are at pretty all. hilarious. Is that varsity so. jacket, They're his actual beautiful. varsity are, jacket or something? Very colorful. Or is that related to something? At the beginning of the campaign, something? they actually, I, feel like that's I was trying to keep some sort of, and then related, I realized Sam was I taking detailed notes, know. so it didn't quite matter. So now I just sort of write down anything that sounds interesting to me, and just draw dicks and shit the rest of the time. Do you find when other people are RPing and you're not involved that you feel awkward so you draw dicks during that time because of that? Or is no. it just like if there's a quiet moment, you're gonna be, you're just gonna draw a dick or if you're waiting for your turn in initiative or whatever? I don't know, I know when it is that I draw. I mean, like the dick origin. Like, yeah, I feel like sometimes I'm not even like, I don't know if I'm looking not down. Looking I'm not down. sure what I'm doing. I have no idea when I doodle. It's usually after Matt's, okay, that's a lie. It's usually after Matt's described something really cool because I tend to draw what I imagine he is talking about. Like, but then when it just turns about, to dicks? <laughs> not necessarily just dicks. Because it somehow always turns to dicks. dicks. It's been about a lot of dicks this campaign. Not just dicks, but like he talked about the cavern entrance that looked like a mouth. And so I drew like a cavern entrance with like stalactites and stalagmites mm. and like a pool in the middle of it that looked like a mouth. A dick floating through the mouth. I didn't draw a dick in that particular one. Oh. <laughs> I drew, did I? Did, I like yeah, the somewhere in there, there might be. might have looked like I was going to say, <laughs> that's um, what I thought she was going to say when she was describing it, but she didn't yeah. go sure. there. That's what I and envisioned. Like, I drew one a spiral staircase. Something would be in there. Dicks, well, one of those mushrooms was not a mushroom, Taliesin. <laughs> yeah, well. No. Hey, Laura. Mm. TK wants to know, of everyone, you seem the most distressed by Caleb's fiery heel turn. Was this the twins shining through, or is betrayal <laughs> like that something new and jarring for Jester? It's a little bit of both. I oh, would yeah. think that. I, yeah, I also what always just is. give Liam a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Because, it's fun. you know, because we are actually siblings. Um, but yeah, I was just like, he's so good at, at 
her doing hair things is because awesome. his character would do it and it's not so using the knowledge. Dark. It's you know? like so jet black at the top like, going light down. Up, he's like, and then somehow at, really at the bottom it turns yeah. into like the lightest brown. In like to yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it also it like at the throws same me time, off. Like I just like he, started noticing. He makes a good it. point that it's better to use up a fourth level spell slot there than than doing something like terrible, like banishment on one of us, yeah. which he could have done. Yeah. So he could have done banishment. Ba oh, on imagine if we didn't imagine. roll a save on it. Yeah, I mean, he could have he could have cast that spell. That would have been sick. Yeah. Who would you I mean, guys love to have seen banished? I don't know if Matt. Banished? I don't know how it was working. <laughs> Who would if you Matt have loved like, to have seen banished? What, what did you say? I would. I would want to be banished. I want you to would. Beetlejuice the hell out of that. Yeah. Oh. You'd be able to juice the hell no, out of no, that. Beetlejuice. Like sandworms. Yeah, and ride a sick. sandworm yeah. back. Sandworms. I hate it's a them. crazy ride, friends. Crazy ride. I mean, that it, it banishes Beetlejuice you for... too, guys. Wow. It is okay. confirmed. Yeah. Jenna Ortega. No joke. Yeah. Uh, for very both of you likely, from games, if not already, given is that in both it of you have lived as lives Winona mostly Ryder's without kid. friends. And Michael Keaton's coming back. How do Jester back? and Cad feel already about having in production. been attacked by some of the closest friends they've ever made? Do they have any new doubts about the Mighty Nine? No, he had siblings, man. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Clay had siblings. He's used to those that love you, love and trust, turning on you, pretty hard. So, <laughs> oh, damn. Shit. Yeah. Damn, that's you pretty dark. Jester did not have siblings, mm. so yeah. His she's explanation feeling, is he has siblings, I mean, so he knows about how it feels to have people stab that, you in the so. back. Mm. What kind of um, dark life has this man led no, that he got considers nice. siblings? Well, don't be afraid to touch it. Someone it that's a, like, no, eventually that's, gonna stab you in the no. back. <laughs> is this is this your character shining through, or should we? No, that's that's a horror film right there. It is kind of. <laughs> I love it. This doll. I love it. Definitely comes alive at night. That thing is creepy. And walks around I ain't gonna lie. That the thing is studio. Creepy. It looks yeah. like a. That's Caleb a at zero hit points. Cheap version oh, of Chucky. Got the little X's. But you know what? He's got very soft hair. He does. So that makes him better. Maybe it's horse make, hair. Make Jester and Caleb hug. <laughs> Come here. Say you're sorry, That Caleb. thing looks crazy. I'm sorry. I do like the hair, though. The hair oh, looks wait, crazy. Like, that's kind of... I think the button eyes okay. freak me out. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Max is so hard right now. Where is he? Max he loves puppets. so hard. <laughs> this that's is what this true. show has become. I am, oh, my God. I can't do a German accent for shit. I am, hello. Hello, hello. Caleb. I am Caleb. I am... Uh, oh, right. Here, puppet. wait. There that makes more sense. Yes, this, this makes much more sense that I would be holding the doll. Hello. Honestly, Talzin yes. sounded pretty Try close to, to me Liam with doing an accent. Fireballs, eh? I'm, that was I'm not going close. to not do that. I'm going to hit you with many fireballs. Whack! Oh, ah. ow. <laughs> oh, ow. Well, oh, that was... Oh. And he's even got the bandages. I have a lot to read like online the, the tonight. <laughs> Man. I'm excited. We could stop the show now. We could stop the show now. Should we, Steve? Yes. No, no, no. No, no okay. Tell us. Never get any phone calls from Jim Henson's yeah. people. Jim you don't think Henson. so? Nah. That was some of the best voice acting I've heard tonight. I'm ready. Yes. I think Jim Henson's first, people first are already streaming, man. I'm ready. Happy. Yes. Tell us in Gareth <laughs> Academy wants to know. What was going on in your head as Sam mentioned Gareth the explosive Academy? arrow? Your that's face said so much all at my, once. My thought was, fuck, that's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was going to be fine. That's the thing is I was not worried about that. I was just like, and I knew you had the spell slot. So yeah. it was just, oh. And, and to be fair, and to be fair, I thought a lot about this. Of, of all the recriminations I was giving myself during that game and all the places where I was doing things and then 10 minutes later going, that's the dumbest thing. I can't believe you did that. Um, that was not dumb. Mm. That was, um, it would have been worse it, to be at the mercy of that creature there for a moment. That would have gone way worse. Like it was better, I was, I was toast no matter what. Better to do that there so we could get in right away. Right. Yeah, clear the it field. is true. And he, the, to be fair to Sam, I he mean, had that prepped before yeah. that yeah. monster was next I, to, yeah, so he that's had that action save regardless. If he if, was holding it, yeah. like you know, ready yeah. for it, it just happened <clears> that he Maybe came into melee. Teach him a lesson about indiscriminate weaponry that just yeah, fills the area. <laughs> You think that'll teach Sam a lesson? No. <laughs> yeah. No, because Sam's you know what's like, funny is, sorry. didn't Scanlan didn't mean like, to. Mm -hmm. suffer the same fate because of an explosive? Oh, yeah, he's yeah, never learned. Like that. He's, yeah. never he's never learned. learned. Mm -mm. Yeah. Is it not learning uh, or is Laura. it not caring? These are two Pomeric very Chavez different things. Pomeric Chavez wants to know. Mm -hmm. I honestly 
Chester's creative spell even use knowing has been what happened would make me do it again. Of their anger in battle. Just because it is was she worried at all and awesome and over her own well-being, or is she mostly focused even on the rest it's of the party's safety? Probably not the wisest choice. Um, I just feel like sometimes you know, chaotic um, people aren't going to do what's right. I think she she's she is definitely fighting the the fear that she faces during battles now um, because she feels you know mortal. She realizes like oh this. This could happen, especially now seeing Caduceus mm. fall. Mm. Um, Caduceus so fall. So there's a little bit of that. And at that the same time, like she is, you know, fantasy movie or something. At her core of Pan's labyrinth, both Caduceus physically and emotionally falls. of people. So, you know, it's a struggle. Yeah, I could tell from your spell usage, she is a real protector of people. Oh, he put his shit down. That means we're getting the gift of the week. He said it too quick. He didn't even give me a chance to say it. I was getting my shit. There's multiple ways to protect people, Brian. You don't always have to just. And here's the other fucking thing. How many fucking times have I said it's useless to just constantly be wasting your spells on hitting cures on people that you know, like if you're consistently doing a cure wounds that is healing like 13 to 20 points, right? And that's at like high level right there, 13 to 20 points. And then the villain is consistently doing 30 damage, regardless of what you're doing, they're gonna knock the person down and you're just wasting a spell slot. The best thing to do is to wait for that person to drop and then heal them back so that they can actually have an action. Yeah, or, or I've been saying that the whole time. Up the way with it's just a little more expensive. You know, the way Caleb's Maybe a little was. more risky. Sometimes you can like just. You know, but I play the same the way. For a while totally agree. That the, that the fight There's many really battles like, yeah, in yeah. role-playing <laughs> video games. Sit there for a while. That's cool too. We're, <laughs> that's not. That's what I do. You will be at a standstill where you heal, they attack. You heal, they attack, and you're pretty much breaking even. I'll throw some shade. But then there's like a moment of weakness where you can like get your jabs in. And win the day, but it's not the wisest choice to go that route, especially when you have slots, because they'll run out. What is it? I want to see it. Skip of the week. Our winner for campaign two, episode fifty-five, was sent in by Lisa Lisa Bacofen at Brian is looking so nervous for some reason. Like, let's take a look. This one's long, but it's good. I love Brian. He's great. Oh my God! So fast. So fast. Fail, fail, no. fail, fail, no. fail, fail, fail. We're gonna have to rewatch it. Fury the. Fr- <laughs> <laughs> My God, this is one of those ones fail, that. Fail. This sums up. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, when she elbowed him in the face. This sums up the entire episode. I know. <laughs> that face is. Natural. Well, there was so many. <laughs> I love that kind of roll. My God, they're so, it's so fast. I'm like, I, and it's all, yashi, so yashi, much yashi. of it looks so similar. I can't even tell if we've looped yet, and we haven't. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was just oh. like all of them. That was some of the worst rolling in a while. <laughs> Fudge, man. Fudge, man. That was man, that fast, was yet long that as hell. That took a long time. Yeah. To put together, so good yeah. job. Congrats to I was going to say, because like, it this. was not only fast moving, but it was also one of the longer <laughs> GIF of the weeks. Keep it was, it was good. It. it was good. Sure, For what it was, you had to Lauren probably Epsom make it go Powell. that fast. I just this wish it was slowed down. I saw 1,293 of these at Emerald City Comic Con. Every one of them looked amazing. I didn't see what it said in the beginning. Yeah, it was like, no I mean, I got the gist of it. Sleeves, as you know. But in the beginning, I, I, it was like a boom, boom, boom. And then it was uh, just, you just Remember the group photo? Someone had a Either six-year-old way. with the sleeves or bullshit shirt. shirt on? They get a shirt. Yeah, so, so cute. Maybe like five, six shirt. years old. That was awesome. Um, I feel guilty in every photo up because endless shirts that swear all the time. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> hilarious. I always wanted the children to come to me in the photo ops. So I'm like, come to me, children. Oh, we'll you. But they come they to sense me, children, your desperation. I, so they're I like, am Ew. like, I just we'll go to someone more socially confident. That's so sad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not true. It's a joke. <laughs> Talison. Yeah. Seduces Laura, Clay has a question for you. Mm-hmm. Laura, I've said uh, this Caduceus before. Seduces seemed very relaxed when he was revived. And was this because he was unaware like of the Laura extent Bailey. of what had happened, or and it is was his vision odd. from the Wild Mother enough like, to like reassure him that everything closely. was okay? Man, that they, vision they from they the Wild act. Mother was really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was that was Matt just giving me just a big hug for everything that happened. That was great. There's some backstory. Finally, finally, I'm like, oh, look, some backstory. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're going the right direction. That makes me happy. Yeah. But yeah, he was, and he's, 
again, like this, this is not what rattles him. Other things. I also him. saw this is not, that was seduces Clay. Not the thing that, that, that often writing in we'll on I'm, talks, I'm kind of, asking this questions. With Matt yet, but I'm probably of the opinion if you are a grave cleric, you've probably been pushed to this mm, place, like probably in ceremony before a few times, where they've actually like you know done the She's pop you back a few times to like commune with, with the. So oh you wow! Mm. Flatliners. Yeah. Some Lord of Light shit. Flatliners. Wow. Some Lord of Light shit. That's what I picked. I haven't seen Flatliners in a long time. Eric Dongdarian. I remember. I is think Flatliners is like 89, like 90, Dung somewhere Darian. around late 80s, early 90s. Is it Beric? It is. And my mom was Lord obsessed with it right there, because yeah. right around that time, my grandfather passed about. her father. They got, she Laura. got really into like tapping into Fraxinus the dead. Fraxinus wants to know. Yes. How does Jester feel having Crazy cast stuff. her first revivify like spell? Aww, she, she feels pretty good about it. I met 50 yeah. dead people that also, year. Also, like, oh shit, things are real. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, healing is always like second for her, mm -hmm. right? But that's the that's the D and D version we of, know, the, of the. Um, you don't have the, to. You uh, don't have to hide it. We know you the, despise. The, the no, I mean no, the, the adrenaline. Aspect adrenaline of yeah. That's yeah. the adrenaline stab. Pulp fiction. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Rough. It's, it's kind of that recognition, though, of like, oh, there is power in this this healing yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, shit like that is gold. Like no. yeah. mm -hmm. I think you Laura don't? looks at it like like she was Not saying earlier, how fans, the Steve, lower uh, level Talison. cures are kind of just Borgavino like, eh, has a question for you. until yeah. you get yeah. to the bigger, from better Steve's stuff. Shitty taste it's kind of cinema. just like <laughs> maybe Having now experienced death after out, living with it for so long in the out. graveyard, will his views on it change at all? No. Or was the experience too quick to have any sort of lasting uh, impact? No, I mean, like, I think it did have a lasting touch just because it was, I mean, it was the wild mother coming down and being like, hey, you're doing great, kid. Like, there, it was. Did he need that? He, Thanks, I mean, mama. I think I would have been a little more shook if it hadn't Thanks, happened, if mama. I'd just woken up from nothing and okay. been like, what mama. just happened? Oh, yeah. God. But, like, yeah. that being given that like was, like, made that. everything feel. Um, it'll probably come up in game eventually, but I, he definitely has a philosophy on the notion of destiny that's very specific. And that definitely was a like big. Where does that come from? Uh, I, I've been building. I've been building him for a while now, and I'm finally like getting a handle on him. Feel like um, you've cracked him? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, there, I'm still curious to see what he acts like when siblings finally show up, if they do, because yeah. that's I, in my head. That's a. He is a. I assume one at least will show up. Anybody who has siblings or like knows that you revert to a 12 year old. I just assume naturally because yeah. we've mentioned them. Yeah. I think he's a trash so many fire. times. I think he's a pro. Like I think once his siblings show up, I can't help but think we're going to at least run into one. Um, probably. I don't think this is the them. caduceus you get when his siblings are around. That's I think amazing. it's a bit of a mess. At what at what point does I also would have character additions come to you guys? Is it Thursday nights after the game? Is it like when you're in the shower? It's just random because you guys you guys always talk about how you are constantly thinking about your characters. Mm -hmm. When does that stuff just kind of end up popping into your head? Is it when you're thinking about the game or Literally when you're not? Two a.m. in your yeah. hotel room it in Seattle. Anytime. Mm. Talking <laughs> to yourself and the voice. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like it would yeah, be the both, times, the all of the I'm above. I feel like Wait, at I any given time, in this hotel room you might get a brainstorm, like, like, oh my god, I could do this. Like every now and then, I, like I could be doing like, the like same thing one, for a month, and down, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, at the most random time, I'm like, oh my god, I could totally do this. I would talk to myself as Caduceus a lot, and just be like, all right, Everywhere, that's all right. You got this. Anywhere, You're yeah. gonna be okay. All the feel it actually like Thanks, in the chest. It feels really good. Like his, he, it, like it makes my my chest cavity because I'm putting it so yeah. in such base that like my whole sounds so weird. My whole chest vibrates when I do the voice right. So it's just. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd love to lay oh, on there. Yeah. I know. No, it's really nice. Can you like hug me and do the Caduceus voice so that I can like oh, yeah. feel the vibrations? Not without charging. Do you have a square? Um, I was just a USB port usually, so that. <laughs> you have a USB <laughs> port? Oh, that's we awesome. Charge we can charge it. We can charge it. A and USB shit, port. Right. We can some plug of those devices though, they, they come to you while you're playing. Yeah. Like there are some mm. things that you don't realize it's going to be a character trait until like you do it, and then you're like, oh, that felt right. A lot of asking why you're still there and why you're invested. Yeah. You guys ever dump stuff from your backstory that you had intended once you get you further along into stuff? stuff? Do you ever go like, eh, came out very I kind of now that I more I know this character a little bit more, oh I don't really know if God. this kind of lines up or makes sense for them anymore. I've done that before. With I feel like there was the a lot of stuff for Jester with. that I was planning on that just changed as soon as we started playing, and I mm. like had her 
in motion. Yeah, you know? yeah, once she was in the mix. Yeah. Yeah. He was, Cat, Cat was just such a base outline, there wasn't really much to, I've been making it up as I go along, so I only had, a, I only had three days to, to figure it out. To figure it out. I always, have these ideas, and then once you start RP, I just noticed it can this really shirt. Change. I kept yeah, trying to read it. That is the yeah. first yeah. time I've noticed like, it. My open. character's going to be super confident all and all this, and then you start playing, and you're like, oh I, no, I they have really no self esteem. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, tra I mean, like, yeah, Travis There's talked about that a lot for like he had kind of outside. Ford 2.0, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're probably running from the gunshots. Would you mind just from hell? One of his eyes is covered, and they either both need to be covered, or can you just cover one of them? Because <laughs> I had just one of them staring at me while you were trying to yeah, answer. Yeah, see the it, eyes. It was the just eyes. a little bit too much. I feel like if his eyes are mostly covered, though, it's going to be even creepier. I mean, let's do a little. Kurt, He's got like Kurt Cobain. Let's. <laughs> oh, this is it kind of. It's like That's Raggedy kind of and Mandy. Aww. I had Raggedy okay. and Mandy when I was oh, a kid. The button yeah. eyes, man. Grunge it's Kate something Kate. about oh. the button Laura, eyes. Yeah. Mark Shock like wants to know. Like the X's, because most Jester buttons have the X look. Caduceus, Ford, and Caleb. I don't know Caleb, something about it. It looks that like that when they X out the eyes, like death and rapidly. Dead eyes. I don't know if you could tell, but I was Look freaking out just a little bit fights. during the game. <laughs> so, so that's pretty well. I picked how up I was on handling it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really an expert on behavior, but I picked up. Yeah, there was a little bit. Yeah, she yeah. got she got crazy. Um, fast. Yeah, and then I forgot we that, right. Caleb, that Caleb was unconscious at my feet. How about that? <laughs> mm -hmm. That was a good one. Where that happens. Here's the thing: when Matt, oh, there's this like bloodlust that kicks in. When Matt's like, they're looking pretty rough. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna get the final blow. I'm gonna get the fucking final blow. And yeah. then you're like, it's 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 more important to kill this thing than to heal. And then. Yeah. I, that that the temptation. And then I feel like always in that I moment like is when is everything the I most try doesn't land. Animated and I've seen Laura since the baby was born. And I, was, the I feel like going, the couple no, times we've seen her do, since then, and, she was very yeah. like just I was like. I ask you how full the girl got exhausted. after this week with all those fails. Which were you grabbing anyone else's? Were you eliminating is, anyone else's dice from the equation? Energized. I wish I would have been. There were some before. I love it. Travis is too far away from me now for me to like tick his dice in. He has to throw them to you. Yeah. There were some fan theories out there that uh, because Will Wheaton's name was mentioned at the top of the Why show, would you say his name that was enough. Least. Can't we just can't we just come up with we're not on a nickname right for Will? He who must be not be named like that. Like what? Yeah. Should it be? He who must uh, not be named like that. Dude, what about like Steve? What do you think? WW3. To think <gasps> what if it's like World War II? The Dark One. But but will the we dark do it? One? WW3? Yeah. Like a play the on one. words? Get like it, he's yeah, I know, I got it. That it. bad? I it. Yeah. We're, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but we, we like puns around here. What if it's. Oh. No, that's all I got. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Man, that face. I was ready for something brilliant. Yeah, I know. Instead, I'm disappointed. Taliesin. Instead, you have <laughs> upset creepin'? me. Will oh, Will, Will Creepin? Creepin'. Will we're Creepin's right. not bad. Yeah, but there's still a Will in there. Still a Will in there. Yeah. Right, but we're not saying his last name, though. I feel like the two like names combined is what in... The dark one. Oh the dark one. That's a great idea, Steve. Good. Didn't what Laura say that? Yeah. The dark one? Didn't one of them just say that? Bring back Steve Cam, Zach. Uh, Yeah. Goodzilla wants the to know, dark. how hard Will is it to spend creepy. an entire battle sweating bullets and vibrating with nervous energy, up to and including your character dying, only to swerve back into Caduceus's casual and easygoing manner the moment he's awake again? How do you handle that transition? Well, I feel like you might have answered a little a bit of this few, earlier. A few tricks. One, be, and I think there's no reason not to say this, due to the, the circumstances of everything that had happened the week before on, uh, in our reality, uh, we were I almost really feel like he's answering really it tired. like Caduceus. Uh, he was we were, almost half doing a Caduceus. It's been a, it's, a lot's happened uh, this week, and we were definitely like all a little bit like, we're just going to have a nice, chill game, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> and so there was almost this sad resignation to so much that was happening of like, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. course. Now. This is the night. Um, I was leaving the well, office, and Max goes, well, Always like the nights where you guys have early flight out. Matt ends the show like 10.30, you know, you can get out of here pretty early. And then, yeah, not the case. Yeah, it, it, the nervous energy was not the same. And, I, and again, knowing that you had that spell, I was kind of... Right. It's like, it's, we're not out of the woods yet. Not Everybody woods knew yet. you had it, right? I, I don't know if everybody did, but he certainly did. Um, I have my, my power, I power, so I get that extra I feel like they would have, because I did. Great. And if what? I do, I feel like yeah. everyone else must already know yeah, five years earlier. I had it too. 
pearl That's of why power. when I saw it, when we had it in the shop, I was like, I'm getting that shit again. Because in my head, I'm Sounds like, all right, people are yeah. dropping. Caleb went down. That works pretty Ford good. Ford was close. Caduceus uh, went down. Revivify. Tell I'm like, all right, what's, what uh, we parameters? can't do it to everybody. It has to be within a minute of the person a minute. Within a minute. Right. We talked about that. this in the live stream. Yeah. Wow. But so we they only could, had one. die at the one. beginning of the fight, and you still are able to use Revivify quickly. Yeah. I don't know how much, like, how strict Matt will be with, with the one that. minute. I'm... Well, we also, we, there's a few things that we also have. I have a, I well, have a thing, and I've talked to him a bit about six, it, because I would do mean have a thing where I can kind of you'd have, like, ten turns somebody to who's use dead, it, uh, I can right? kind of, I have, like, I don't six remember seconds the name a turn? of the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten turns, 60 seconds? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's the put them in the fridge. Yeah. And they'll hold in that minute for like, oh, for like Walt Disney them a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. You put them in the the, the good state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The magic freezer will, will hold will hold a body for a while so that you can still get to that revivify as long as you, you have a little more time. Let's see if Matt goes for I that. I like it. I have it. I don't know though. Like I the, dig that. Technically the the. I would like to see it, but I campaign. wouldn't oh, like it if the results though, that's were That's a whole different ball game though. Yeah, but like. In the rules, you don't have to do like a ceremony or anything like that. Oh yeah, but, with Ray's dad. Yeah. Yeah, but revivify. I mean, like, but revivify though isn't a, isn't a ceremony. It's literally. Bam. I mean, like. Yeah. It is. It's paddles. You're, yeah. you're not really dead. You're just. We're bringing you back. Cleric shit is. Definitely you flatlined. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another you flat miner's mm -hmm. reference. Yeah. Maybe possibly one. if you want it to be. You're, you're and then we bring you back. There. Just it's kidding. A sapphire. It's a beautiful. Time. Not it a ritual. A sapphire. I love talking about cleric shit because Fan for all the, the randos that click Fan on this on Twitch, they totally think we're talking about Scientology. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fourth Aren't level revivify. Are you out of your goddamn fan. mind? <laughs> hey guys, guess level. what? It's fan art of the week. Fan, fan art of the week. Is this the one he was saying? I feel like in the beginning he said, wait till we see fan art. Our week. next giveaway. Something about the D20 is, is going to go to. He was talking about 20 D20s. Max isn't paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's just yawning. He's yawning this big. Leave Max alone. No. Ekaterina Victoria at Otter Space Nerd. That's a great. Nice. Uh, Let's take a look. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah, look, Whoa. Up look. Whoa. look, that's all the things you what saw. It's the kiln. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, look, look, at, look at all that backstory. I'm trying to Those take are... it all in. Oh. All right, so we got Jester with the with the that's diamond. Really I was going to say, it was throwing me off with the Jester hand. Really Jester is holding the diamond. Revivify. Oh, really I dig the that in the hair look is the different. Guys. Okay, okay. Don't look say at that. that. <laughs> Moments. Look at that diamond. I know. Isn't that beautiful? Diamonds. Those are Matt's hands. I really, I like the gauntness in the face. I'm really digging. I'm <laughs> Those digging are the Matt's deal. hands. Blue. That's a Blue I hands. dig it. Boy. He's so I thought he was gonna have Blue. something more to do Blue with. Blue he's he's mad. What we were talking about when he mentioned the fan art. But it had nothing to do with it as far as I can think. But then we wouldn't get Ronan. It had a lot to do with Revivify. Oh yeah, Ronan Cam. That's my Twitch feed that I like. Uh, cam. Thanks cool. to Very everyone cool. who submitted. <gasps> oh, Definitely more bitch? towards the, no. we get to the <gasps> higher end of the grand arts. To not you, top 10, though. Ekaterina, you not have quite won top these. 10. We've just seen Zebra too many. Zebra Wood but it's, it's tabletop close. tiles I would say it's easily top 20. Gaming. I'm going to give you guys half, and I'm going to keep okay. half, too. Of the now, this is the Kickstarter that launched today. There is a video with it that you guys need to watch because they explain how fucking sick this is. So fucking I, sick. I went to the booth today while you guys did the sci-fi panel with our beloved Whitney Moore, and I had my man's Bobby show me how this whole thing works, and it's incredible. And then they showed up today, the Kickstarter launch today, oh, they man. showed up, look, coasters <gasps> on the back? Yeah. What? Hello? Hello? Coasters I mean, on the back? This is, wait, this but, is for cars? I mean, what? What's all this stuff for? What is it you can put, for? Okay, yeah, so like, what that does it do? is really cool because there's these beads that go in there, and then you have a magnet that comes with it that you can take them out. So there's uh, death saves. Oh, so it's all yeah. little games? Yeah. Saves, it's like all spell slots, <gasps> and you do beads with it, and then you take the magnet and you put the beads in here when That's you're done so with it. That's so fucking cool. And then like, look at all this. One of these could be a dice One jail. One of them could be a dice jail. One of them could hold a mini a if you dice want. Or jail. Jail. I want these so bad, but I, it just means I would take up even more space. Look, and you can also They are really around. cool. It's I honestly, like magic. I just honestly don't What's know what I do with them, but they are post. really cool. I love anything made of wood. I think this if you have something made of wood, I will buy it. Like if it's something I would <laughs> use. 
even like once a month. Uh, so I have a wallet be winning that, that is wood which grain. Is amazing. Ah. That Make little sure Grip6 to wallet you can see on the internet. Com, They're like 100 the bucks. They're wood grain wallets They're where you squeeze them and your card is in money shoot totally out. I just loved wood grain stuff. Goal, my camera, my Sony new camera, anyways, I have a wood grain holster that it goes in in case I drop it. You can also use them for a bunch of different games the outside You can also use them as coasters. I mean, you can do a lot of shit with this. And what God is damn, it no? But seriously, good. what is this for? I can't remember. Bobby, will tell me. You see, like it's certain ones. The, uh, I think that might be. I think it's the dice oh, jail. That's the actual dice, dice jail. jail. Yeah, you put it. You put him in the center there, and he's on timeout. Ah. And then you can put the good, the good ones around, it so we can look. Cold. Yeah, and you can, He can or see can what them. it's supposed to look like. It's so rad. That is really cool. These will never Very make it to the rad. Rad. I guarantee it. These are coming home with oh, me. I know. How are you guys gonna sign These those? are coming home oh, with yeah. me. It's very easy. This is the longest we've ever talked about that. something, but honestly, it's uh, pretty you can enter interesting. A contest by it's your one of those things I buy, or I like should say I used to buy. I used to buy a lot of things that were just cool like that, but I never had purposes for them. And then they just kind of like accumulated that. So now I try to avoid. It's weekly, right, Max? Like if I can't I think, think of an immediate weekly. use yeah. for it, it's a great show it probably won't Check get it used. I think they do and I, I just don't know. Oh if I was playing D&D, &D, definitely Laura. you could use it. Dice oh jail, stuff like that. Guess who's back to ask you a question? I can't wait to find out who is it. Ario Teabaggin. It's Ario Teabaggin. Yeah. I got it. It's Ario Teabaggin. Was so I am a freaking genius. Honestly, it's just my favorite one. Revivify, all while near I'm the so brink pleased of death. with everything in life. Where does she find her bravery in those trying moments? I literally well. was like, it isn't going to be Ario <laughs> Teabaggin. But I'm going to um, say it because I haven't seen Ario Teabaggin in a while. And it's my favorite you know, by far. I think it's my number one uh, above all. <laughs> He no, thinks she's, she's searching for it, like I said King, earlier. She, pull out she, King and Arsqueef. I she's think trying to find that bravery Baggin. up until the number one. Really, the Blue Dragon fight, the bravery that she had kind of came from naivety. Naivety? Um, come from now? Naivety? Uh, it sounded like she was saying yeah. something like naivety? Or naivety? Naivety? She surrounds her, her with, That's herself all, folks. with. And um, uh, it's like she's kind of trying to find the bravery herself. I don't. No, if she. After this fight, how does she feel Just about herself in, in that way? Is she surprised by March. her actions? And is it like, wow, I might be more brave than I thought, or I learned something from this experience? We will probably get to that in the Ooh, uh, upcoming. Ah. So we'll find out. Okay. Look at that. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I wasn't going to watch it. Look at Laura, it gives a little uh, eyebrow raise. Corner. Who was Tell it that was saying before that, that Laura's Sorry, got yeah, no, okay. terrific okay. eyebrow raises? Someone was bringing okay, it up. Can I just say, I think by it was the Sam. way, we had Baby Ronan with us at Emerald City Comic Con this we week. Did. Baby he is Ronan. so heavy. <laughs> I know. He's three feet long. He's taller than my five-year-old. So why? Nephew. I put on my Instagram today. I mean, I think Ronan's an Travis. awesome name, yeah. but oh why my God. was there I saw it reason seconds for it? before it went live. They were oh yelling at me. I can't remember if I ever knew, but I feel like I did. Oh my God, he's so big, and he can just hold on to his little neck with his like his feet around it. He's so happy, and he's so chill. At least when I'm around him, because I have a, you know, me, I have that presence. I sort of just omit a, you know, like a, a He's a chill, a chill fucking baby. But like, bring chill him on the show baby. again. The people want to see him. Well, they want to check see, in and see. Well, see, at this point now in his life. He's a little squirmy. Well, yes, but that's fine. He's just on a stricter schedule yeah, as far as so sleep is concerned. Yeah, so he's kind of in bed right now, yeah. 7 p.m. is his bedtime. Mm. So. Oh. Yeah, I wish 7 p.m. was my bedtime. <laughs> As I look at Talos and Drew. Then you'd oh, be yeah. up. See, if you went to bed uh, that early, I'm you'd just, just like, be yeah, up that, that much earlier. <laughs> There's some nights that I put him in bed. The times like, I go to bed earlier than like 10 p.m., so I'm up at like 6 a.m. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Talison. like, all right, this I guess I might as well start my day early. Regarding this episode, this I, I, is for Mischief like, 7. It's kind of pointless, unless I just want to get extra sleep. wouldn't have had an explosive arrow if Percy hadn't invented gunpowder, how does it feel to have accidentally killed your own character by proxy? This is not a new idea. This is literally what the character was intended to do. I'm very How funny is that? I didn't even this think is, this about is, that. This is literally what Percy was That's intended really to do. That's really interesting to look campaign, at it like that. Percy I may be killing a invented gunpowder. Yeah. You did? 
amazing. Oh yeah. Amazing. Ugh. This oh, is yeah. the best episode. I love of Percy Talks even Talks. more than I oh, already yeah, no, did. This, this was that's 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 pure Percy right there. Of like, well, I fucked I fucked somebody's future and probably someone I'm tangentially connected to, and <laughs> it was not wrong. It is on brand. How yep. funny oh, is that? Percy. Oh Percy. Why Percy it indirectly trinket? almost no. killed Caduceus. The only thing Sam and I agree on. How <gasps> dare you? What? He is standing right here. I'm Air mouse joking, trinkets. Laura. You know how I feel about trinket. <laughs> Well, we don't have time to talk about it. Answer this oh, question. Oh, look, his ears are dead. Look how upset he is. Trinket is, is, is why a is sad he, bear. Why did he so turn away from right me? Now. He was facing Disgusting. me five seconds ago. Come now he's turned away from me. It's okay. Disgusting. It's okay, buddy. He's, 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 he's going to like talking Tina you now, man. This guy's more sensitive than Max. He looks very... Look at this derpy face he has. Shimmery. Like parts of him. We should get like a little fountain thing in him so he just kind of drools every couple seconds. I want to pet him. I feel like they've said he's very soft. Water or something. Laura, back in Bones 42 it. wants to know, yeah. after witnessing both the Traveler and the Wild Mother aid her in bringing Caduceus back to life, yeah. how has this experience affected Jester? Has it changed how she perceives the Wild Mother? Um, I would think yes, a little. I think it, it... Jester believes in the other gods. It's not that she doesn't think oh, they exist. Well, then it wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, See, she just I didn't thinks know. that the Traveler is way cooler than oh, any okay. of them. Oh, okay. That's different. But, um, I was thinking maybe she was like, frig the other I gods, mean, there's obviously only the Traveler. Obviously, the Wild Mother has a relationship with Caduceus, and I think in her mind, the Wild Mother has the same sort of relationship that the Traveler has I would say there's still her. like... It doesn't seem a odd form of that respect she there. would appear to help him out, you know? Yeah. Which is why when she, I was asking for help, I was like, hey, Traveler, will you tell the Wild Mother that her dude is fallen right now? Because like- Go like, get his mom. Yeah, go he get his mom. Go get his he, mom. He needs, he needs some help. See, so. I, I, I guess wow. that makes sense. In my head, I'm thinking like, if you believe the in the Traveler, cooler. that means you cool. might not He's believe in other awesome. gods, but then again, pretty cool. cool. Like, everyone really thinks know, the though. other gods do they exist. Do they just believe in a certain one for whatever reason. Because I feel like he is not good. I feel like he's not good. I feel no, like you're not trusting people. I'm not trusting trust people. Issues. I'm around you guys all the time. The traveler That's is fair. the tits. He's the coolest. He's, did you say he's the tits? He is cool. the tits. It's a cool saying. How come when I say it, I get in trouble? I feel like we're almost nearing Tell the end. Galactic Llamas has a question for you. Galactic, uh, Galactic Llamas. llamas. Man, That's pretty cool. Those are the best kind. Does, I literally just got a picture of my business partner that I told you guys about is in Dubai. Technically, he's on no. a camel riding trip right now. It was about an hour ago. Um, I saw a picture. I, th I think there'll be a little bit of a hey buddy talk. But Giant like, camels. He looked hey, like buddy, uh, um, he's big, a about my size, there, going, maybe a little going, smaller. Going, and he, it looked like ten times bigger than him. No. Massive camel. Things happen. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta we gotta get a little better of about keeping keeping. Everybody on the same page. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a much better click than I got before. Jenga, are you gonna make a dick shape out of that? No, I'm just yes. getting woo woo. Yeah. Ha! It's weirdly satisfying. Okay, I just isn't gotta it? make the grains go together. That's how you make a click the best way. It well, sounds like some it's of really the really different. Yes, yeah, there you go. Oh, my. oh, and then you broke it. It's too heavy. It was extending out too much, so the weight this is pulled what it happens, apart. Jerry. Sorry. Yeah, Laura. lost its integrity. <laughs> is there another one down here? Yeah, there is. It's tor sort of towards Talison there. There, there you I go. Found it. I, sorry, I'm sorry. I promise when we send banner. this out to the winner of GIF of oh, the Week, right. or this of the of the week it will be uh, in one piece. And See, I'm doing this on purpose so that we'll have I, to give them a different set. So oh, I you're keep... breaking it so you have to buy it sort yeah, of a situation? Yeah, basically, that's without the deal for it. Year. I used to do that I'm with breaking toys. it without when having to buy it I want a toy, my money. dad would say, you know, mm -hmm. you're not going to get it. And I would break it and he'd have to buy it, you know. And then i just put the arm back together or whatever. Laura, Noodle King TV. Ah. Yeah. Laura is fantastic. Right yeah, now. I'm ready. I'm she's ready. When Molly, when Molly died, Jester said she needed to find some diamonds. Does she find any sense of atonement now that she was able to revive a fallen comrade? Uh, if anything, it's a fuck. I should have been there for Molly too. You think you she she feels that now? Do you think? Yes, because now she's seen it in action. She's seen what it can so actually do. So she thinks do. she could have done she's it more. She was, she had that. Maybe one. now if seeing I how been easy there it when was. was there, then... Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, I hadn't even thought about that. That's true. Shit. Yeah. That's nuts. 
Gotta have a gotta have a cleric. I don't know if I would have realized at the time that I needed a diamond, though. I probably would have tried it. We would have been. Yeah, we would have been out of luck. Something. That's it. It would have been guilt inducing. Yeah. It would have been worse. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't have the proper uh, equipment mm. to do it. Kaizo whether we wants to know whether she was what there does or Mr. not. Clay feel I feel like it would have been worse because then it would have been like if only we had a diamond. Now it's like a couple they're, factors. I mean, slightly better than the undead. They're. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're 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 better, but they don't belong here. I mean, it's. You know, it's it's like having an infestation in your home. It's like, it's nothing personal, but you belong outside. You yeah. shouldn't be in here, and, and we're gonna have to have a very frank and serious discussion that may lead to some violence. Until, frank and uh, serious. It was like Frankenstein uh, in my uh, head. are respected by frank everybody and serious. involved. I think that'll go well. This is the yeah, easiest thing well with to play talking and acting <laughs> like Caduceus yeah. in his yeah. answers. Yeah. I dig it. <laughs> but he's he's acting super <laughs> like lackadaisical. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah, we were in all, all <laughs> different stages of dozing off today at different yeah. points. <laughs> he's like acting uh, so bizarre. It's Monado great. Boy I love that between the two of them, does Jester regret it's such an bringing odd... Sprinkle and Nugget along to Jorhas? <laughs> uh, in retrospect, Nugget I, really should have stayed with Mama. I was going to say, older, it, yeah. probably um, not though, the greatest idea to take him, but hey, whatever. Sprinkle <laughs> is awesome. Mm -hmm. And protected, well protected within Jester's armor. Yeah. That's how I'm saying Sprinkle is not dead. <laughs> well sure. protected yeah. inside sure. of Jester's armor. Yeah. I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, Imagine he's constantly I, moving on you. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, maybe it's like just very when we're not agile that, when, we're in when it needs to he, be. He like dives down into there like a leather. That's how I imagine it. Or whatever the fuck she wears. It's just sure. ready to go. Yeah. It's the most. Called? I mean, whatever you need to tell yourself at the yeah, animal. Yeah, she's got like an like ever. a like an armored corset. Kind yeah, of an thing. armored corset. This is going to be a corset. She wears studded leather armor. Technically. Technically. So that's what that is. But still hot, which is all that matters. <laughs> I do the exact same thing with every character. I'm like, they're wearing studded leather armor, but in a hot way. Right? Right? Taliesin. Yeah. Bubbly1997 wants to know. 1997 was pretty bubbly for pretty me. Bubbly. Bubbly. As a grave domain cleric, you've taken the role of a healer and generally supporting I other players a, a instead of dealing in damage like Percy or Molly. Is stabilizing and healing and preventing crits as enjoyable as dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, because a lot of that, and I gotta say, because I, I, I'd never really played a cleric before, but there is so much satisfaction to be found in, in looking Matt Mercer in the eye as you ruin something that he was working on. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. just, it's just, anytime he's like, oh, and it's a critical, and you go, no. No, it's not. No, it's not. And he just, he just, he dies a little inside. Yeah. And that's pretty, I mean, like, I never There's really been had a that bunch feeling. of times Doing damage, you don't towards get that the back feeling. half of these Because then that's just episodes. you inflicting something on one of Matt these toys, but has like actually like when he's trying very to do something and you just like slap some out of his hand. The rolls mm. Which is what he feels with what the we do. stunning strike, I'm sure. Oh, oh yeah. And counter yeah. Stunning spell, strike sure. again. Yeah, counter spell. What level do you guys have to be at to get counter spell? They have it, I think. Really? Do Already? I don't have counter spell. I think I think Caleb Caleb has it, but I think he has higher levels than does he yeah. have higher levels than us already? Wizards know. are more wizardy. Wizards are weird. Wizards, wizards are more are wizardy. More wizardy. Yeah. You don't say. Brian's like, yeah, way, way to yeah. explain this it. This one's sir. interesting. Wizards this is from are just wizardry. Carolina Chalupska. Save us from Brian's terrible mispronunciation of my last name. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With the answer to this question. Chalup now, amazing. Chalupski? How would you guys say Chalup that? Chalupska? That's not Chalupska. Chalupska. Chalupska? What did I say? I don't know. Chalupska? Maybe. I'm a big ska fan. I think it's yeah. Chalupska. You what Chalupska? Chalupska? Operation Ivy? Chal yeah, I don't know how. It <laughs> I feel like Brian was close to how I'd say it. You know about less than Chalupska? Jake? Chalupska? <laughs> I think he said Chalupska. Let's go bowling. Do you ever find but he could be bowling? right. I do know let's go bowling. <laughs> Do you guys coordinate your cleric spells and strategies in any way? It could or be does Chalups, all the division of Chalups, tasks and focus Chalupska, happen organically? I no, I mean, we should do more. We do it a little bit. A little bit. I mean, we whisper. There, like, there's you, whispers. Are you taking that? I ain't gonna take yeah. that. Are you or we take... should both have that? I feel like I there is yeah. subtle Sometimes communication. Sometimes we'll go like, oh, you're taking Or you can so kind of just see or know what's so going on. and We can disadvantage Matt and do what you gotta advantage do. us at the same time. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, like, yeah, what are you, like, well, I'll, I'll take stone shape. and. Yeah, you know, if he has stone shape, then I'm not gonna take that A lot that of the too, utility or, stuff. But, like, when we were on the water, both of us took control water because we figured it would be useful. We both had the food, make food and water because... Make water can be very useful in the right circumstance. Mm -hmm. 
One of y'all makes it and the other one controls it. Mm -hmm. For some reason, hearing, hearing Talison say that is oh just funny. Oh my god, yeah, it was seriously like, think about that. Oh yeah, it's been in my head. awesome! Yeah, right but situation. like Team Cleric. We can like make water and then Ford can do stuff with it, if, even if we're somewhere where there's no water. There you go. So Ford can... Well, we have five minutes left, so we're going to ask some search for Grog questions. That's it, guys. That's it for episode 55, campaign two. It is only actually... Well, yeah, counting the intro was barely 50 minutes. GIF of the week was one of the longest, if not longest, I've ever seen. It was good. It was just so fast, and I know they had to make it fast. As a whole, it was probably one of the longest, and if you slow it down, it would just be that much longer. But we got the gist of it. I just, right off the bat, I was like, holy crap, I already missed like three sentences. But you could understand where it was going and where it was coming from. The fan art of the week was also great. We did get a lot of questions dealing with the fact that both of them are clerics, how he is a grave one, how they coordinate or possibly do they coordinate together i mean i feel like you are close enough together that you see what's going on so you're going to somewhat know when you got to do something because someone else didn't or if they're doing something else that's more beneficial to the group you probably got to do the healing or something to that effect i like that jester pointed out what is maybe not obvious to some people being as i played tons of role-playing games i totally thought the same way before she even said it how People can't just expect you to be, like, standing there curing constantly when it's going nowhere. If you are fighting somebody, she used an example of getting hurt more than your healing is. But you could even go toe for toe. Like, I'm getting hit for 20, and then I heal for 20. And I'm getting hit for 20, and then I heal for 20. Eventually, you're going to lose all your slots, and what is the point? She was using the example that you're even getting hurt more than your healing. At a point, you got to try to take down the villain, the foe and deal with the other thing later. Because if you revivify them or something, then they immediately get an action or something like that, she said. All I know is I always felt the same as she did, that you are better off being more offensive, even if you were the healer. But then again, I've never been that kind of character. So I don't know. I am not a professional. I'm going to jump in episode 56. We're only going to have a Patreon hour this week, like I said in the beginning. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're going to do the entire episode, The Kill Box, from Vox Machina, because we've already seen what happens in the animated Vox Machina Season 2. We're also going to watch 45 minutes of the episode before that, leading into it. It's going to be about four or five hours. Join us over there. You guys want to see more of what I do? In the description of every video is the link for Patreon. That's where you get every episode. Exclusive Patreon hour for Campaign 2, Vox Machina Season 1 and 2, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest, hundreds of other shows and movies. Check the link below or join us tomorrow for the live stream. If not... Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.